It's not you. It's meat. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Setare. You guys, I was reading your comments on my last video, day one of the potato diet. There were just so many comments about this topic that I feel like I can't dodge anymore. And that's okay because I know that also talking about this is going to help me liberate myself. It's gonna make it help me confront this topic that I did everything today to like not film this video. <laughs> like I'm trying to avoid it like the plague. And I noticed that this is something important that I have to do also because it doesn't allow me to do what I know I'm meant to do to be creative and live out my purpose do my comedy and share as much content with you guys that I would like to because there's still this topic of binging that I haven't confronted and talking about it makes me kind of take responsibility for it and therefore I think it'll help me heal through it and maybe hopefully along the way it'll help some of you guys and I know that's the case because the reason why I'm doing this is because of all the comments that I got about this on my social media platforms. So let's talk about it you guys want more details on my struggle with binging you guys here's the thing okay like I'm not saying I'm fat or overweight or I'm not but you have to put yourself in my shoes and like I come from like being like stick girl okay and so living in this body is very new to me it's kind of like be careful what you wish for and when I said that prayer to God saying I want to learn fully about unconditional love well God has a sense of humor <laughs> because now I am learning to fully, fully learn to love myself unconditionally in every state that my body is in. Thinking of like how grateful I am for all the beautiful things my body is constantly doing for me and acknowledging that it's going through this as maybe a possible way of surviving because I've restricted and abused it for so long. And so being kind and gentle to it. But here's the thing. So many of you guys who've been commented, commenting, commenting, are not necessarily plant-based or vegan. So I overeat celery and zucchinis, you guys, okay? This is how I know that there's something to take a look at and see the information that I'm getting from my body responding this way, right? So I have worked in the entertainment industry for a long time and I've been doing showbiz since I was three. So I've been on stage performing in all sorts of ways, whether it's comedy, beauty pageants, singing, acting, comedy, silent comedy, one woman shows, yeah, name it, I did it. Improv. And I never thought about food twice until like I took pageants really seriously and I was like, how do I do this? How do I get to that? And I myself started looking up videos and found like, oh, just cut out all your carbs, guys. I was like, okay. Like I didn't think twice about it. I was like, okay. And I did it. And it, yeah, it worked. I cut out carbs. I was cutting calories more than anything without even knowing. I didn't make the connection, you know? Did it work? Yeah. And then it was like exercise. So I was like, okay. So I started doing like insanity and I would run on top of that like six miles. And it became like this numbers game. Like how much weight can I lose? Because I know the more I lose, like the more you'll like be able to see my abs and my muscle, right? This is why, by the way, I do not have, I do not own a scale at this point. So just FYI, for those of you going through this, I recommend just throw your scale away. Just get rid of it, donate it. I lost a lot of weight and, and I do these pageants and then after Afterwards, I would go and there's even a photo somewhere where I'm literally on a bed like with my pageant dress after the pageant I had just won best in swimsuit and the whole bed is full of like pizzas and I just like binged out on pizzas but there's the thing, it's like I was in an environment where like the girls help each other to like throw up. I didn't throw up. Ooh, that's a good topic. Have I thrown up? Have I tried to throw up? That's another video. No, I just restricted my calories so much to the point where like it would last and it would work and then after whatever the gig was, I would go and eat a lot. I did this on and off for a long time. Eventually I got sick. Uh, being like in a, an environment that I would take is stressful. And and so I decided to do this seven day juice cleanse, not thinking twice about it. And it was not even really for losing weight. It was actually genuinely 
because I had found out that I had polycystic ovarian cysts and like I, I was just not feeling good. My digestion was like awful because I was on these like paleo or ketogenic type of diets where they were high in protein and fat and no carbohydrates. And so like I had horrible digestion. As much as like they function in getting me to lose weight, like they weren't sustainable because then I would just want to eat everything after a certain amount of time. I did the seven day juice cleanse doing like Gerson therapy style juice cleansing and it was amazing. Every day I felt better and better and those seven days became 60 days of these very healing green juices except for the response that I got when I was finished with this and started to go out to get jobs again was maybe not the healthiest type of response I needed to receive. I started to work a lot more. I, used to, I started to get a lot of modeling jobs. I was like, wow, so I have to like somehow find a way of making this like sustainable and it's not. We got a digestion system for a reason. So I needed to start eating again. I became raw vegan, but I was like very careful about it. it was restricting also like being very careful so I wouldn't gain weight because I was getting all these jobs that took me down this like spiral of like not eating eating the world not eating eating the world or just feeling like I was just so unhappy I was thin and, and boy I, I felt like everything fit me amazing I looked good like I was like a double zero like I loved finding out that like places didn't have my size the clothes was falling off of me my friends and family were getting really concerned about me but I was like they're jealous <laughs> I'm just so sick thinking. But it was because I would get this positive reaction in the world of like one entertainment, but like jobs. The reaction from my followers at that point. Like, let's put it this way. It's not about the followers and, and now it's more about like getting the message out. But I lost so many followers when I started to start promoting health versus being in these beauty pageant dresses and swimsuits. To this day, when I post an older picture, I get triple the amount of followers, the amount of likes. And I know it's not about that, but that does something to you psychologically, okay? I started to get better and I started to heal a lot of the stuff I was going through, but I was like, I have to maintain this because I'm getting jobs too. And this is great because it's healing. And at the same time, I'm losing all this weight and it started to become doing it for the wrong reason. I became raw vegan, even though I never really felt 100% satiated um, eating just a solely fruit-based diet but again this I love fruit and I still am uh, the big advocate for fruit my close one of my closest bestest human beings in my life Robbie eats solely fruit and I love that and I did that for two and a half years but coming from a background where like I was already doing all this restriction I hit a point where like I just didn't ever feel satiated enough at another point I did a water fast it was a very healing process I do not recommend water fasting for anyone that's had any kind of eating disorder be honest with yourself because it can do more damage and in a lot of ways I went into it knowing this but there were things spiritually emotionally and physically that I was trying to heal but again I came out of that and the reaction from representatives of mine was like wow you look amazing and I got more gigs it was not a healthy cycle for me mentally I stopped I eventually was like I can't do this anymore like I lived high stress all the time because my body body was probably under like like survival mode fighting with like this willpower of like staring down the food that you're like nope can't eat that can't eat that you know and I was like this is not healthy I need to eat cooked food for that reason too because this feeling of like no this purity like wanting to be so pure like was not mentally healthy for me either so boom I decided to say hey you know what I am aware that I may gain weight and I'm okay with that because I know right now although it feels good on certain levels there's something that feels like is missing and just not exactly right so I started to do this raw till four thing and I gained a lot of weight and was not happy but my menstrual cycle did come back so I was like okay getting enough calories so I'm on to something but I'm not happy with my weight and so that started to fluctuate back and forth and eventually I like found this kind of semi happy medium which was like eating starch solution eating carbohydrates whether it's fruit 
fruit or potatoes, but I still notice that I overeat on vegetables. Okay, let's get real here, okay? Gaining weight is not fun, but it's beyond that. It's knowing that like I've eaten enough, I don't stop. You know, there's something to be said in that too because I have a good friend who told me, you know, when people binge or overeat, it's usually because they're trying to fill a void or like some kind of nourishment that they're missing emotionally, spiritually. And there's truth to be said in that, of course, but I know right now that I'm on track on creating and manifesting the world that I love. Now it's more than anything like confronting this and diving in and, and experimenting another time in allowing myself to eat this food that the majority of people are scared to eat. Um, because again, what's the worst that can happen? Like, let's say you gain weight, okay? But you feel amazing and your blood results get better. Like, so it's, some, it's just information. Worst case scenario, you go back to doing what you used to do. So I'm giving this a shot. I am an advocate of the potato, but I've never allowed myself to like fully immerse and dive myself into eating as many potatoes as I want. It is the most satiating food in the world. This can only bring more information. It's progress. Life is progress. I trust, I deeply trust that our bodies are a miracle and are constantly seeking to give us the best and do the best for us and constantly healing us. And I know that I'm eating the appropriate unprocessed foods. Some people have asked why I don't eat salt and one is because I have this binging circumstance. <laughs> I don't eat salt, one, because I know it provokes cravings. Ain't nobody need extra cravings because I already overeat right now. I'm sensitive to sodium. My hands get really tight, my feet get really tight, my eyelids puff up, my cheeks puff up. I can feel it when I eat sodium. And it, it's not like I'm deficient because I get my blood checked and I'm not. And I get enough sodium, the sodium that I need, because I eat an abundance of vegetables, fruits and vegetables. For example, celery. I eat celery almost every single day and that has sodium in it. You guys, look up natural sources of sodium and it will give you a list of uh, different foods that have sodium in them. So don't worry about that. Now, if you like it and you want to add it at the table, you know, that's up to you. You do you. I get flavor from other condiments. You don't need the salt, you guys. I don't know if you guys want more detailed questions about like my binging and how I got here and more details, let me know in the comments more specifically what you want to know and I can do a video where I answer that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a part of this journey. This is, yeah, this is not an easy topic to talk about, but I should do it more often because I feel liberated, you guys. No, I'm still kind of shy about it, but. <laughs> Go plant-based, number one. Like if you're gonna overeat on something, at least minimally, like I am in that peace of mind where I know like, yes, I still am in the process of learning to intuitively eat, but at least I know that I'm binging on very healthy foods and processed foods that are not naturally harmful off the bat. You know, yes, it's not gonna be constructive to overeat on anything, but like, give me some credit, it's some vegetables, okay? <laughs> So let me know in the comments below like what your experience is in this overeating binging scenario issue thing. Be kind to yourself. Talk to your body. Let it know that when it's hungry, you're gonna feed it. Let it learn to trust you. This way you'll chill out and relax because being stressed only adds to the binging. Love yourself. Careful what you wish for, man. I asked to learn about unconditional love and I'm learning how to love myself unconditional. Te quiero, te adoro con todo mi corazón de melo. Thank you, thank you for listening. You can get the free potato diet guide on setarekatv.com. All the links are below. If you want to see more videos like this, you got to come, you got to like, you got to push my button. Okay, bye.